Hello, my name is Manisha Raj Gupta and I am the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. I am back with another video on Building with Lime, which I have put together in partnership with Malvika Mehta of M Lime. In our sustainable house project, we wanted to avoid the use of stone, uh, tiles, polymers and plastic laminates in the finishing of our house. These are materials which are commonly used today. The use of lime as a surface finishing material was a very attractive proposition for us. A lime surface finish is any layer that is applied up to 8 mm thick. For thicknesses thinner than that, you need to change the kind of aggregate you're using. So then the question is what kind of aggregates are suitable to combine with the same fundamental line binder so that they become strong at these thinner dimensions. The favorite, the most popular is marble dust, graded marble dusts. By varying uh, the particle size of this marble dust, you can create a whole variety of uh, mixes which will offer you coarser and then subsequently finer finishes. Now that we knew how lime works as a binder, the idea of mixing it with marble dust and creating surface finishes was very easy for us to understand. Yet, finding marble dust which was well graded and clean was challenging. We couldn't find that here locally. In the M-Line Play series that's offered by Malvika's company, we found the standardized, well graded material that we were looking for to get good surface finishes. Another uh, traditional technique which uh, gives excellent results is that we take a lime and marble mix and then we actually grind that mix in a stone mortar and the result is that the particle gets crushed, the particle of the marble dust gets crushed so it becomes smaller in size but it creates an extremely workable plastic putty mixture which is a very key ingredient in creating the much loved and probably the most popular polished lime surface finish. Surface finishes with lime can range from simple lime washes which is like a substitute for paint to textured finishes and to polished lime finishes like this which are a more labor intensive process. Many of you would have encountered polished lime surface finish as um, Tadillac from Morocco, then there are polished plasters from Venice and Italian traditions, there's Shikui from Japan, there's Araish from Rajasthan. All of these plasters essentially play off the chemistry of lime plus stearic acid. When they combine, they create calcium stearate and that's what gives you that lovely sensual sheen and touch and um, that, that is so unique to polished lime uh, surface finishes and really cannot be mimicked by any other kind of polymerized lime plaster finishes or polished cement or it, it's pretty unique and, and so far nobody's really figured out a shortcut to this. So in our practice we use soap and soap is a very simple uh, you know way to deliver stearic acid to your application. And polishing is actually a process of burnishing where you're using a very basic trowel, a hand tool and the pressure of the palm to really physically get the soap to react with the lime layer underneath. So you're layering lime and then you're applying um, soap, you're introducing soap on top and then using the pressure of the palm, bringing the soap to react with the lime and create calcium stearate. The application of soap water on this polished lime surface to seal it was really one of the most challenging steps for our artisans because you're actually applying a watery soapy solution with your trowel. They are used to using some thick materials which they apply on you know finishing surfaces but not something that's so watery and so liquidy. But uh, quickly they learned about that and started uh, you know getting a hang of how that is done. Unlike most other polishing processes that we see in construction, whether it's polishing cement or polishing stone, we expect 
a removal of material, a grinding down, a sanding. Whereas this is not the case with lime. With lime, polishing actually means burnishing, where you're using repetitive movements and gentle pressure to compact and close the grain and create a reaction and create, therefore, a sealed surface. Calcium stearate creates a waterphobic surface. So if you actually throw water on it, it will throw it back. It like like a bit like lotus leaves. Now remember, the soap has to be applied before the calcium carbonate sets, because otherwise the end product that you will get is a non shiny calcium carbonate surface instead of a shiny calcium stearate surface. The more elbow grease that you put in this, the more uh, you're going to create a harder surface and. A stronger surface, a more compacted surface, you will actually see the thickness of your application come down by half an mm or quarter of an mm depending on how much effort. The more you pour into it, the better it is. And there's, of course, no end to it. The palette of materials offered by m is really what enabled us to use lime as a finishing material in our house. The hand holding that we got from m -Lime made it possible for us to, you know, call somebody for advice to course correct and then to transfer that knowledge to our artisans and help them troubleshoot and find their way around this material as and when required. I do want to add that uh, we've also now begin to offer complementary materials such as soap and wax that can help streamline this workflow and truly make the practice accessible to, uh, to, to first-time workers as well. We are so glad that we learned this technique which wasn't difficult to learn at all. With the help of some reading and discussions with Malvika, we quickly got a hang of how the line works as a material and could build an SOP for our artisans on our site. So it's always been a focus of ours that in order to make the material accessible, the workflow on site needs to be scalable and very streamlined and very easy to adopt for a first timer with minimum margin of error and minimum stress. If the Karigar does not adopt the practice, no homeowner, no architect can actually deploy the material. We fell in love with this polished line finishes. We've added beautiful colors to it and used it extensively around our house with bathrooms, in the kitchen and on our floors. Believe me, you can do something similar very, very easily and transfer this age-old knowledge from the experts in Rajasthan to the local artisans in your area. If you have any questions or queries about polished lime surface finishes, leave them below in the comment section and we will try to answer as many as we can. Stay tuned for more episodes on surface finishes, uh, some of which are not as difficult to do as polished lime and will be coming up soon in the next episode. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy this content and you will not be disappointed.